Hello and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In last episode, we um, had a few um, arguments coming up, but mainly between Cassandra and Varric, as well as got a lot of backstory from Fiona. And I was really interested in her talking about being cured from the taint, so I looked her up on the Wikipedias. And uh, it turns out, are you ready for this? She's actually Alistair's mother, and that's why she was asking about him. Now, if you remember in Dragon Age Origins, he said his mother was a uh, elven chambermaid for Redcliffe. Or was she a human? I'm not sure if they even know she's he's half elven. Either way, that is an awesome thing. And I still wonder why the uh, Warning Commander hasn't come to look for um, Fiona, because she's out looking for a cure for the taint. Very odd. Cassandra, let's talk to you. Inquisitor. Oh, I'd like your advice. Oh yeah, we we probably talked to her last time, didn't we? Come on. Do you have any advice for me? Tell that demon. What does it call itself? Cole. Tell it to leave. No. He may not mean harm, but that does not mean he will not harm us. Spirits are not creatures to take at face value. Be cautious with him, Inquisitor. Screw that. Goodbye. That's enough. Enough. So we talked to her, but we haven't talked to Varric yet. I still haven't found how to uh, get this damn quest. I, I, for the life of me, I can't find Colin in this tower. I can't... I don't have a way to get to the top, as far as I can see. That floor up there. There's only that room and the ladder upstairs. That's very odd. If anyone knows how to get to Colin, let me know. In the meantime, let's talk to Varric and then we'll try to head out. Are you alright? That got a little heated. Are you alright? Well, that depends. How angry is Cassandra? I wasn't trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. Hmm... Talk to Cassandra. I bet Cassandra regrets how things went back there. You should talk to her. What do you her. mean, I bet? I appreciate I know. that you're trying to keep the peace, but things between me and the Seeker are as good as they'll get. I keep hoping none of this is real. Maybe it's all some bullshit from the Fade and it'll just disappear. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. Okay. But... Oh, another one. Corypheus is back. Oh, shit. What is he? You said he was a darkspawn, or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corypheus really knows either. He's definitely a darkspawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. We need a battle plan. We'll talk to this warden friend of Hawks and draft a plan to kill this Darkspawn. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. How did you find the prison? How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient Darkspawn? Corypheus sent people after Hawk. He actually got control of an entire Carter clan. Made them drink Darkspawn blood. Weird shit. We tracked the Carter to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains. Of course, it turned out to be a trap. They needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus. And they drew us into the prison to get it. We'll find a way to kill him. I'm sure. There has to be a way to defeat Corypheus. We'll find it. Don't worry. I hope you're right. Me too. Necker's breath, what have I let loose? It wasn't your fault. You had nothing to do with this, Varric. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. If I hadn't tracked the Carta to that ruin. But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. Yup, will do. 
Now, let's head over to the um, war room again and see what we want to do. So the task we um, set out to do in the last episode... Oh, that's the wrong door. My bad. The task we uh, did in the last episode should be back by now. So let's um, get those. And then we'll decide where to go. I'm thinking we should um, do um, one of the new areas. I want to check those out. As well as... Um, Maybe try to um, do one of the main quests. Those have been really good so far. Wait. I almost missed talking to uh, the lovely Josephine. Gotta make sure I've okay. exhausted everything with her. Good. Good day to you. Come on, what's. What? Go away! Speech bubble. Stop stalking me! Stop touching my butt! Another. All right. Let's see. We got three different main quest areas, I guess. Let's see what we got back first. A friend in Canaris. My Lady Inquisitor, considerable as your support has been, I'm saddened to report my emotion died on the Senate floor, although I'm hardly surprised. My fellows in the Magisterium don't enjoy the thought of having their freedom limited in any fashion. That was, however, hardly the point of the motion. It was a statement that needed to be made, and your support allowed me to make it far louder and clearer than I ever would have on my own. So I thank you. With any luck, this will draw support from those who feel as I do. It will also draw fire from Venatory cultists, still in the shadows, but I say let them come. I will not back down in the face of such fools. I'm sending along a few things which I hope will give aid to your effort, and we'll see what more I can drum up. Give my love to Dorian. The poor boy is such a hothouse orchid. He must be way wilting in the cold. Got an apostate staff blade, sure. Next. Ooh, a new one. Valocas. Adar. Demons. You got us demons. Some of them were on fire. You're the best that are. You don't even have to replace that broken blade for me now. We're even. Oh, and I got another Vitar. Locate Riz and Ev Evangeline. Inquisitor, Evangeline and I owe you our freedom, and indeed our very lives. I'm greatly, greatly saddened to hear what happened at the Conclave. I had truly hoped for a peaceful end to this conflict, and the death of so many good people is a tragedy. Our own investigation took us to renegade Templars using a strange new red form of lyrium. I'm chagrined that they were powerful enough to subdue us. Although your agents tell us that these red Templars serve as shock troops for the enemy, who has had both mages and Templars dancing to his tune. Evangeline and I need to recover from our wounds, and our presence at Skyhold will only cause tension with the rebel mages you brought into Inquisition. Once we are healed, we would be honored to serve. Alright, there's a note below, presumably added to Cole, by Cole. I asked you not to do this. I was upset until it saved them. This is good. Good! And we got a new uh, operation to deploy them. Sweet. What's next? We have... Uh, something at Ferelden, I think. Right? Nothing? Am I missing something here? New to the crew. There's our deployment. Acquire the Arcanists. It sounds like something I want to do. Skyhold has an incredible potential for runecrafting and mastercraft smithing, if only you had a gifted mind to gain full access. The war in the with the Venturi uh, have gained many experts, but we have located an Arcanist with great skill and reputation for humbling first enchanters in both Andrastian and Imperial circles. Two assassination attempts and at least one explosion have made land hurdles reluctant to allow her passage through the territory. It will take significant effort to bring her from Tanter Vale, but this Arcanist would be invaluable to the Inquisition. Liliana, go! The Arcanist has been secured, despite great cost and good concern of more than a few traditional minded mages. She wakes the meeting with the Inquisitor in the Undercrofts. Sweet. Uh, do I want to do anything else? Specializations for the Inquisitor? Yes! 
I can ensure, ensure instruction for the legions who want to join, but can we expect the Inquisitor to remain a leader while training with his subordinates? She's a figure of inspiration and should rightly be one of aspiration. Promoting a specialist from within the ranks seems lacking. With due respect to our people, this needs the needs of the Herald are so specific, I recommend looking outside for the best combat specialists to be found, regardless of their affiliation. Josephine, go! Inquisitor. The best of the best have been summoned. Training with these specialists will ensure the Inquisitor's abilities remain at their height. Except, what did that get? Dorian's request. Who do we have left? No, uh, those were instant, so I should have everyone still remaining. Someone go to Orsimar for King Balin. Josephine? Let us begin. That takes 42 minutes. Let's send everyone out. Hmm, shadows over Denrim. Inquisitor, first thing first, an apology. I offer the rebel mages safe harbor in Ferelden, only to have them drive my uncle out of his own town, and I'll admit I wasn't in the best of moods when I first met you. I just wanted everyone out of Redcliffe, and didn't care who was responsible for what. Now I wish I'd have uh, done otherwise. Isn't that all the way? These cultists, Venatori, I think they're called? We have them in the royal palace, or so I'm told. Like rats, but with magic and nasty sneers. I don't know what they're up to, but I need to find them and drive them out. Since the Inquisition knows all about them, I hope you'll help. Something, something, grateful something. <laughs> Wait, did I just write that? You scribes do this on purpose, don't you? Oh, Alistair. Send Inquisitor. little Liana and her agents. And we should send out... Actually, let's send... Uh... Hmm, reports of darkspawn activity. Storm Coast. Should I send you? Yeah, why not? Inquisitor. Now, we should head over to the Undercroft before we head out and see about that new uh, enchanter. And well, as um, find where these specializations are unlocked. Are you them? You look like mages. You might be them. Craft a rune? Are you guys waiting at the gate? Speak with the trainers. Yes, they are at the gate. Sweet. So now is our chance to uh, pick a specialization. I did a uh, bit of a uh, research on the wiki, and I, oh, I know what we have available. You're one of them. Hi. What do you have to offer? Inquisitor, I heard a tapping. My skills are required. And you are? Speaker Vius Anaxas. I have come from Navarra as a voice for the dead. Welcome them. And they will serve your cause. You speak for the dead? Excuse me? You speak for who? The dead. Many assume that they have misheard. I am of the Mortalitazi. We tend to those who have passed and revere their lives by honoring them in death. And when the living are threatened, we give the bodies of the dead physical purpose once more. Necromancy, Inquisitor. The dead will serve for you. You raise the dead? You're saying you can bring the dead back to life? Of course not. The souls of our departed cross the fade to be with the Maker. The body is left empty. Then what is it that you do? In the Grand Necropolis, we would usher in a displaced spirit of the fade, eliminating imbalance. But this is war. Every battlefield has one thing in abundance, death. I turn the bodies of enemies into weapons against them. We do not manipulate the living. We make use of the dead. Hmm, why is this a good discipline? Tell me why this would best suit me. It is not for everyone, yet we all reach beyond life. You have already killed many out of necessity. To stop at death is wasteful. Death can make allies of enemies. Death can rend the battlefield. Death can terrify. People will fear me. Don't you want to terrify? 
Fear means there are fewer to fight next time. Fear means lives are saved, if that is your concern. What are the mortalitazi? What is a mortalitazi? We are the caretakers of the Grand Necropolis of Navarra. For the treasured relative, we usher a spirit of the Fade into the void of their mortal form. It honors them both. But when enemies threaten the living, we turn death into a weapon of war, instead of merely the result. This sounds like blood magic. You're a mage who manipulates life. How is this not blood magic? Blood magic consumes life. It tears at the living to manipulate and destroy. It is a cancer among our kind. We honor life by venerating the dead. We give their mortal form purpose in combat. Perhaps only for a few moments, but that is still more than they had. More than opposing you normally allows. So do I have to unlock this now? Leave. I'm not sure I want to be an, a necromancer. It sounds... Oh, come on, leave. Go away. I'm not committing to this yet. Yup. Uh, it seems a bit too evil. I'm not sure I want that. I want to be a goody-goody. And I, um, I'm already Kunari and a mage. Having Being a necromancer to top that is probably not going to be too popular amongst the um, people around me. Why are you just named your trainer? He has a name. She has a name. Is your name your trainer? Hello. Yes, hello. I am your trainer. Yes. I am your trainer. You said that. Okay, she is. Good, because it has been a long journey. The cause is just, and if we don't start soon, you won't have time to learn. <clears throat> I am your trainer. I welcome you. Thank you for coming to train me. What? Oh, yes, of course. You're welcome. Thank you. I was charged with studying the breach and the subsequent rifts to discover how they affected traditional disciplines. I was enthralled. So were the 19 others, I presume. They're dead. They learnt the power, but couldn't wield it. Rift Mage Inquisitor, the forces are incredible. And with training, you will be incredible. I know how not to die, and I can teach it. It's incredible. Okay. What is your name? You didn't mention your name. I am your trainer. That isn't a name. It is what I am. I try very hard to remember that much. There is so much else to keep in mind. Understand, Inquisitor, that I have learnt it all very quickly, so you do not have to. Who told you to study rifts? Who charged you with studying magic from the rifts? The Mages Collective. I did not just say that. Yes, I did say it, and we're proud to help. We are nimble, we could move quickly and commit people to this rift magic. Many people. Their lives made it stable and safe. We're very proud. Why is this a good discipline? Tell me why this would best suit me. You are the Inquisitor. And? You deserve power that casts your enemies aside with the abandon of a creator force, crushes them with your very will. That is the promise. Who better than you? You are the Inquisitor. Okay. Rifts are a pretty recent phenomenon. How did you learn this so fast? The rifts were triggered by the breach. There's already a school of magic. A school? No. Yes. Sort of. The holes in the veil flooded us with magic, and that can be used. It changed some rules, modified them, enough that the careless inverted themselves, old forces and new forms. Others will try, their results will vary, but you will have the best instruction. Because your trainer has already taken the risk. The price has been paid. Okay. What? I, I like you. You are a pretty cool character, but let's uh, see what no, the last one is. Yet. Come on. Hold and declare, Inquisitor. What do you mean? I ask your intent. I was summoned to oversee training, and I would know my charge. I am your commander in this matter, Commander Helene. Welcome, Commander. Thank you for coming, Commander Helene. Commander will suffice, recruit. I teach the skills of the Knight Enchanter. It is a rank. It is a life. Understanding its hierarchy is the first step. You already know this. 
You were not made Inquisitor and then taught to lead. I will teach you how to rise to your place. How to join your warriors, spectral blade in hand. How to command the ranks while standing beside them. Are you ready? An elf has human rank. Commander is a title I associate with human forces. Knight Enchanter has roots in elven tradition, but it has utility in every tradition. There are no borders for the mage who wields a spectral blade. There is respect, and there is fear. Where have you served? Who granted your rank? What forces have you served with? I cannot say. Then how do I know you're capable? You know because I have told you, and I will teach you the same authority. Why is this a good discipline? Tell me why this would best suit me. I cannot. Only you know if you are fit to lead with more than maps. Do you have the metal to raise a blade in Grand Malay? To have your presence make heroes of your charges? This is a path for leaders. You tell me if you are worthy. Hmm. I do like being a leader type for my forces and for my people. I'm torn between Rift Mage and Night Enchanter. I really like the, the um, what was it called? Hmm. The class, the similar class in uh, Dragon Age Origins. I play that for a while. Let's do this. Show me what's involved. I'm ready to learn what you know. Then we will begin the simple steps, recruit. And we shall see what heights you reach. You have a task, a simple construction. Go, learn, and return. Soon you will lead from the front. Soon you will command. All right. So I need uh, two more Wisp Essences in order to do that. We'll have to get that outside. Wait, I can still unlock those two? Should I do that for like quest XP? Maybe. Hmm, yeah, sure, do it. I await your return in Yes. Necromancy Inquisitor. Show me what's involved. There it is. I can craft that right now. Hello? Yeah. I know how not to die. And I can... What? Yes, yes, yes. And... Can you update? I don't have anything of that. Acquire writings. Huh. All right. But I really do need um, Inquisitor to get the quest or the stuff for the Night Enchanter. That's what I'm leaning towards. Let me know what you'd think is the best choice for Inquisitor? me. In the meantime, we need to head to the Undercroft right here to talk to um, the uh, Enchanter. Inquisitor? The Arcanist has arrived. You should see for yourself. That's neat. Um, that's not so neat. Tell me it's not gonna start talking. Where is he? Or Hello she? There. Oh! Oh! I know who it is! Yes! Yes! It's you! Isn't it? From Dragon Age Origins? Dagna! Let's figure out what you need. If you didn't check out my um, playthrough or played it yourself, Dagna is a dwarf we helped in Orzammar get into the um, Circle of Magi to study enchantment. Like, dwarfs don't have any magical ability them themselves, but she was so interested. So now she's an authority on enchanting. Aww. Oh, you're her. The Inquisitor. I'm Dagna. Arcanist Dagna. It's an honor, your worship. Is that it? The hand anchor mark? It's pretty. So are you. The reach was pretty too. In a destroy everything sort of way. <laughs> Welcome to the Inquisition, Dagna. I welcome you to the Inquisition and look forward to your contribution. 
Me too. I've heard some impossible things. I love impossible things. Those are the best to make, well, possible. I've looked at Herod's devices. Precision is fantastic, but typical. Mundane. Old thinking. No disrespect meant to the classical trades, but you need a new perspective. I've made adjustments. As long as I keep making them, you can craft just about anything. Almost safely. All right. Did you notice the anchor? You seemed impressed by the anchor. What does it look like to you? I heard what everyone says what you heard Corivia say. That's a long chain of who said what. To me, it says key. But keys do a lot of things. Open, lock, switch. Some open one thing, some open everything. It sounds like Corivia's made it to open. But it looks like you can use it to close. It may be that simple. It sure is pretty. Wish I could see through it. Um, where did you study magic? The circle Tower in Ferelden. Go to study magical theory. Get out. I asked myself that question for years. Turns out, not in Orzmar. I had to start at a circle. I had help, though. A great warden, and I am forever grateful. With that sanction, I visited a half dozen circles. The wonders I've seen. And with an objective eye, I can spot where they overlap. That's a surprise for every teacher. It's a grand tradition, and it works so well with new thinking. Oh, I'm so happy to see that. A Grey Warden help you? You mentioned a Grey Warden who helped you start your studies. Not any Grey Warden. The Grey Warden. The hero of Ferelden is a hero in Orzammar, too. It's incredible that someone like the hero of Ferelden would stop to help the little people. Aww. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you must have learned a lot. No, the Warden sounds special. Let's stroke my ego a bit. The Warden affected you in a special way. Talk to anyone, they'll say the same. It was a dark time. There was one light. She saved us. She saved me. You must have learned a lot. Your years of study have paid off. Oh yes, the Mage said I brought a valuable perspective. I've even presented my work to the College of Enchanters. I wanted an exchange. The surface could learn about lyrium smithing, and Orzammar would gain knowledge of magic. But now there's no college, and so far as the Shaper is concerned, I'm castless. Aww. So you're getting my best work, Inquisitor. Let's make some great stuff. You gave up your home. You gave up so much. What about your home? smith father? Is, really is he alright? Yes. I left my home and my family, but I knew. I just knew I could be more than a smith. I wish my people weren't stuck in the past, and I regret that my father couldn't imagine another life for me. But I don't regret what I did. Enough excitement for work for now. All right, rein it in. You have work to do. Right, sorry. I get carried away when I think of it. Ready when you need me. Yup. Let's see what you have Ready to offer, anything, and then we'll head out. Definitely. Once and for all. Tell me what you can do. We spent a lot of the episodes now the in the uh, scale, but I love it. It's fire. I love it, the stronghold bit. Bring me the rare stuff for enchanting or masterworks and prep it here, just like normal. Except it's not normal. It's manipulation of primal forces. And I'll make sure it goes just right. We'll see. Let's see together. Alright. Did we get a new quest or something? No? Ready for anything, Inquisitor. Oh, do I just go to the table and see what we have available? Craft armor? No? Where's our station? That's uh, that. Is that in involved in here? No? Well, how are you? Dagna, show me what you can do. Here's how it goes. Bring me the rares, except it's Prep not it here. Also, I just craft, and she added, uh, oh, my inventory full, so she can add, like, a, um, enchantment sl slot here. Alright, links up, we are going to uh, head over to one of the new areas, and check those out, as well as try to unlock one of these specializations. But that is a tale for another day. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time.